Hello everybody, it's Nida here and this is my second video for the Nida Hug page. I'm sending you all out very special and big virtual hugs. And today I'd like to talk a little bit about Breast Cancer Awareness Month. I'm very aware that the month of October is all about uh, breast cancer awareness. And I have to say that going back 15 years ago, I was working or working out in the gym and there was information about breast check and information about a ball that was being run for uh, breast cancer awareness. And I have to say that none of the promoting ever sort of um, inspired me to look and check my breasts. It actually, if I'm honest, those advertisements terrified me. And... To this day, I find the whole promotion of cancer can be so terrifying and so overwhelming for so many people. I feel that Breast Cancer Awareness Month should be changed to Breast Health Awareness Month. I feel without question that what we think about expands. I believe it because I just believe it because I've studied it for so very long and I'm aware of it in my own life and if we constantly talk about cancer constantly dramatize cancer and constantly highlight cancer we're just going to get lots more cancer why on earth do we give a disease so much high profile why do we do it what benefit is it I have no idea but I do know that if a promotion went up there and it was about breast health awareness. First of all, to be so grateful to be so healthy and to have healthy boobs. And also to be aware of in order to sustain and maintain your health, that you do what makes sense. And that is to check your boobs to ensure that they are healthy and take care and give those girls big hugs. Love them, enjoy them, be kind to them. And if you find something that you are scared about or you feel that there's something there that you are worried about, you take action on it straight away in the knowledge that thousands upon thousands of women and men survive cancer every day, thrive despite cancer. We need to change all of the promotion to positive health and not give cancer the time of day. We, that doesn't mean burying your head in the sand. It doesn't mean ignoring what may be an issue. What it does mean is that in order to enjoy a really healthy life, it's very important to literally hug and love your body and enjoy the fact that it is so healthy. And if, like I did, discover a lump, the simplest thing to do is you go to your doctor, you get it checked and in your mind at all times, remember the success rate for breast cancer now is magnificent. That there is light at the end of the tunnel. Not to be afraid, to know that you will be in fantastic hands. And remember that there, if there is one little tiny lump that the rest of your body is pure and utter health and that lump can be taken care of. Now, as usual, my video is probably all over the place. I still will and work forever to try and transform the whole promotion of uh, breast cancer and to see how useful it would be to turn those promotions around and to reassure people of how lucky they are to be healthy to be practical about taking care of themselves and not to scare people. So I hope this is some help and I want to send you virtual hugs. And remember, October is also the most wonderful time of the year. Uh, the colours are changing. Everything is so beautiful. And we have our conquers and we have Halloween. And be healthy, be strong. And I send you virtual hugs. Bye bye.